welcome to digging with Deej. I think it's the 3rd of December and it is almost 50 degrees out. So the snow has melted and I am back at the bottle dump. So I'll get back to you if I find anything. I'm going to try to dig deeper and see what I find. Well, I just found a bottle in the sidewall. See that? I don't know if it's modern or not. Huh? It's a screw top. It could be maybe an aspirin bottle. It's a screw top, maybe an aspirin bottle. Okay. Looking for cork tops. Get back to you. Normally, I don't even look at ketchup bottles, but this one is old. Look at the top on this. Isn't that a weird top? So I'm thinking early 1900s maybe, I don't know. But then I got something in the hole. I think it's coming loose. Let's see if I can pull it out, hopefully it's not broken. Ah, bummer. Another broken one, but that's how it goes bottle digging. You dig more broken stuff than you do hole. It is a kind of muddy day. I'm always looking for blue and white china. Well, I found a piece of a blue depression glass plate and some peach colored glass. A medicine bottle, screw top, it has Illinois on the bottom. Still trying to find my whole one, Liz. But then I just got what looks to be a cork top in the sidewall. So I get back to you when I get it out. I gotta be careful. Well, it's a common one, but I don't have this size. It is a cork top Lysol bottle. Unbroken, no chips. Let's see if I can read what it says. Hmm. Bloom Field, New Jersey on the bottom. Something Product Corp. So, hey, it's a cork top. Goes to the top, so it's early 1900s. But first cork top today that wasn't broken. I found this cork top with a root growing through it. I just shut my phone off after that cork top and then I found an old toothbrush and look what's in the sidewall so I'll get back to you cross your fingers it's whole now I'm sitting in my chair taking a break can you hear that it's raining got my rain gear on hopefully this blows over because it wasn't forecast until tonight get back to you now, I don't know how much longer I'm going to last out here. I'm keeping my phone dry, though. Looks like a medicine bottle. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull it out. <sighs> Everything's so slippery with the rain. And it's plain, and it's... Huh. Yeah, it might be the old kind of screw top. Get back to you. I got my rain gear on. Okay, it is a muddy mess here. Uh, found another mason jar lid. Some cobalt pottery. And this. And there is no hallmark on it, but I'm thinking that is part of a sugar bowl that's broken. The handles are broke off of it, but that would be cool to uh, store marbles in. Still haven't found a marble here. Okay, but in the hole is a bottle that's got some crazing on it, like a color crazing. And then another bottle screw top next to it, so we'll see. This is going to take a while to get this out. It's a pretty good sized bottle. Okay. That's what the other bottle was. 
an olive, but it's a screw tap. Let's see if I can do this without falling over in the mud. And this is a screw tap too. Dag on it. Oh, that's a weird bottle. Look at that. Everything's so covered with mud. I think that's a handle. Or is that just broken? That's a handle. That's a weird looking. <laughs> a bottle with a handle on one side. Pretty sure. Let me dig it out with my finger. Yep, that's what it is. A bottle with one handle on the side, but not the other. Weird. Well, we'll take it home and wash it off. See if there's anything on it. Oh, there's something on the bottom. D-E-S-I-O-N, patent. Huh, I don't know. Everything's so muddy. Get back to you. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna hold out here. I'm getting pretty wet. The sun's trying to peek out. It's still 50 degrees out, though, even though it poured on me. I am a mud puppy. Taking a break. Giving my knees and my legs and my back a break. Got an amber bottle in the sidewall. It's round. I don't know what kind. I'll get back to you. Well, I went deeper and didn't find anything but giant tree roots. So I just started going wider. So see how much bigger my hole is? This is my pile of finds. Found the top to a sugar bowl, but it doesn't fit this one. I mean, it's too bit small. Um, cork top, not embossed. Cork top, not embossed. Vix, mostly screw tops today. Um, this blue one that I dug out was cracked at the top. So, a very muddy day. Oh, and I did find this. Teacup, look at that blue and white pattern here. I was just saying I never find. It's kind of an oriental motif. But I think the pieces all might be in there, so I dug around and tried to find whatever I could. Everything but the handle, so I'm going to try to put that back together. Two toothbrushes. Um, a broken number 10, 1858 mason jar. That's the patent date, but it was an oldie. So, piece of a chamber pot. But tons of screw tops, as you can see. So I'm going to take a break. I might just uh, call it a day. I'm getting tired. Well, I'm just sitting here waiting for my ride. Um, was not as productive as it's been the last few digs. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you find good stuff and sometimes you don't. Um, but you got to be patient. Um, and never give up. This is probably my last bottle dig because it's supposed to go back down to below freezing tomorrow. So I just had to take advantage of a 50 degree day. And if it goes down again and thaws out, I will be back even if it's muddy. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.